Have I not told you that NFL owners are untouchable? Have I not told you they are the most powerful cartel on the planet? Uh, they could wipe out the mafia. Maybe he did wipe out the mafia for all we know. But I mentioned that to you several times. You're going to get lost because of who's involved. You're going to get lost because of the loving and the hating. Uh, but I want you to, to try to square all of this up. In the past couple of years, just in sort of mainstream stories, wealthy, it's stupid to say, owners of NFL franchises have, in no particular order, and I'm just going to do this off the top of my head, one, arrested in a sting to capture men paying underage women for sex as part of a federal human trafficking case. NFL owner was caught there. Another whose names have gone from the Redskins to the Commanders has had, as the CEO and owner of the franchise, has had not just multiple accusations and multiple lawsuits from sexual harassment and assaults. Okay. And that list goes on and on and on. Another has recently been accused of firing a coach because he's black. Not to mention the other owners not hiring him because he's black. And, and if that's not enough, and that owner is also accused of offering bribes to lose games on purpose. So far, what punishment have, and I'm just glossing over most of the issues with most of owners in the NFL and stuff that has happened. Not all, not all. Um, but I'm always, what punishment have, have any of them felt? And I say that, put it in context. Imagine if it were a player. Imagine if it were a player that we were saying this about. Just square that up. Imagine the fines and suspensions and public outcry if we were talking about any NFL player being accused of these things.